All right, so we're going to attempt to put together a raw cog 6.5 hammer. So the first thing you do is we build the bottom end. So we're going to put this snap ring down in here. It's the first groove that you come to. Slide that down in there. Kick to the side. in place and the groove location is found that you can measure the distance in the manual it does give you the location the so next thing we're going to put our bit retaining or actually we're going to put our bearing so we've got to put our o-ring on the bearing Grab a little oil. use your air distributor just to bump it down into place. Boom, it hits solid. Now bump it down in there a little more. That bit solid. Next thing we're going to do Bit retaining rings. Pop those. We have our chuck with a breakout washer on it. Obviously, as you're building this out in the field, put your copper coat on your threads. Screw that down. Okay, so here's where we have to put our inner cylinder using this two-piece tool. So this ring set, it's two pieces. One's got a taper, one's got a guide diameter that we're gonna use. So, So you want your tapered end standing up, put it on a solid surface, you're going to take your inner cylinder, we got to collapse that ring. Stand it in there. We're going to use our piston to actually bump it down into place. solid you're gonna bump that you're gonna bump that ring off it'll sit there like so at this moment we're going to squirt some oil You gotta remember to put your piston in first before you put this cylinder in, since we already built the bottom end. We're gonna put our O-ring on our air distributor. 
distributor. until it hits solid. You can hear it hit solid there. Then you know you're all the way down. If you don't get it all the way down, it will, uh, when we go to put our back head on, we'll have a big gap. So now we're gonna put our disc springs, so the disc springs, we should have, you alternate them, they sort of have a cusp. So you want those cusps to face each other and you alternate them so that you end up with a gap in the center. Now we're just gonna put this spacer, doesn't matter which way it goes on. And this applies to all of our models of hammers. So we got that. We're going to drop the spring pack down in. Now we have our check valve. It's fully choked. It's got a solid choke in it. If you want to change that, you just use a punch, drive it out. And then you would put in your spare chokes in there. But they always come full choked. So we're going to put our spring in, put our check valve in. Put our O-ring onto our back head. You always want to make sure that your copper washer is on first. And then we can put our O-ring in there. You do got to remember to take this ring out. done.